Hey there, I'm Teresa, this is Lost My Thread, and we are back again with another Clash of the Patterns. This time it is the Troublesome T-Shirt Tussle. So excited to be back with another Clash of the Patterns. I know that a lot of you really enjoy the series. I love making them as well. If you're not familiar with the Clash of the Patterns, they are a video series that I do where I pair up different sewing patterns for the same type of garment and I see which one I think is the best. So I first of all did the Clash of the you know, the battle of the busty button-ups, which were button-up shirts that were designed with different cup sizes. The second one I did was the dueling dungarees, where I paired up different overall and dungaree patterns. And this time it is t-shirts. I'm clearly into the alliteration. Today's one is probably a little bit of a mouthful. I'm impressed with myself for having said it already, but if I jumble up my words as I'm saying this, I'm sure you will understand. Doing a battle of different t-shirts was one that I've had suggested to me, I have thought about, but it didn't particularly appeal to me initially, and it's mainly just because t-shirts are just a bit of a basic, standard, not that exciting, not that tricky of a garment, and they maybe felt a little bit boring as far as comparing different ones, but I've been finding myself increasingly frustrated with not being able to get t-shirts that fit me properly, and that's just because I have a fuller bust compared to my high bust area, so for my frame. And if you're not that familiar with sewing patterns and the way that they're designed, there will generally be a estimated size and proportions of a person just like ready to wear clothes and most of them are drafted for someone who has a two inch difference between their high bust and their full bust. So your high bust is your measurement around just up here and your full bust is literally the fullest part of your bust. If you subtract the difference between the two, most pattern companies are for a B sewing cup, like I said, two inch difference between the high bust and the full bust. And for me, mine is more like four and a half inches these days. I re-measured myself recently and for some reason, I'm not sure if I've just been completely wrong in previous measurements because it seems quite different, but my high bust is actually just over, so four and a half inches smaller than my full bust. And I've previously been thinking there was a three inch difference between them. So public service announcement, measure and re-measure yourself regularly because our bodies do change depending on our exercise levels, our age, all kinds of things will affect our body shape and proportions. So re-measure yourself and see if you're making the right size for you. So my thinking with this Clash of the Patterns was to make t-shirts that are specifically designed for the fuller bust or have different cup size options. What I love is that a lot of these patterns have bigger and smaller cup sizes, so you're not necessarily excluded if you don't have a fuller bust, but it just gives you that option if you are somebody who does. So I will show you because I wanted to show you the difference in what I'm complaining about, the reason why I feel like it's such an issue. I'm wearing my Agnes top today. I've got a couple of Agnes tops. This is a Tilly and the Buttons sewing pattern, which is designed for a B cup. There is a full bust adjustment tutorial on the Tilly and the Buttons website, which I would say is more of a kind of, I don't know, not, not particularly thorough way to do a full bust adjustment. You basically just add a little bit of extra fabric. You sort of cut out a little section. I think they call it like a little bump or something on the side seam near the bust. That's supposed to give you a bit more space, and then that means you're gonna have more room for the bust. It doesn't work for me. I do have a tried and true full bust adjustment on a t-shirt method that I use, but I will say that it is a bit of a faff. It's a whole thing of putting in a dart and removing the dart, and I just wanted to be able to make some things that are supposed to fit me right out of the packet, and then I can compare how well they actually fit. So I'll show you this one. It does stretch because it is a stretch fabric, but as you can see, I have this section under the arm that just pinches, that sort of gathers up, because this is smaller up here, and then it's just pulling. I mean, for one, I think it's, no, it's not necessarily pulling from the back, to be fair, but I just get this fabric bunching up and it's almost like my body wants to have a dart there and that's what would make this fit better but I don't want a dart on a t-shirt I just want something that fits me properly I do have t-shirt patterns that fit me because either I've done a proper full bust adjustment on them for myself or they are designed with different cup sizes but there's some that I've been thinking about trying out and I thought I'd share them with you today now when I make these videos, I break them up into different parts. So today I'm just gonna introduce you to the patterns briefly, tell you a bit about what I've picked and why I've picked it, and also the fabrics that I've chosen for each of the garments. 
Next time, I'm going to be looking at the sewing patterns. How do they compare? What are the sizes? What are the options that you get? How much do they cost? What are the PDFs like? So looking at what you get for that purchase of a PDF pattern. And then the next one, I'll be telling you about the sewing techniques, the finish, how they came together, if I liked the instructions, I felt like they were clear, if they created a, a neat finish or one that I'm satisfied with. And then finally, I will be showing you what they look like on my body so I can discuss the fit, how they look on me, what the styles are like, and then I will pick my favorite. The first top I'll tell you about is the Gable Top by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. This is a semi-fitted t-shirt. They're all gonna be semi-fitted t-shirts. This one is more of a 1950s vintage look to it, I would say. It's got what they call a slash neckline. It's similar to a boat neck, but I think even just a little bit higher up than the boat neck. I think it's a pretty look, and I like that kind of neckline on me. It is fitted through the sleeve. It's semi-fitted through the body. Like I said, it comes in different bust cup sizes. I will probably end up shortening the sleeves because you can either do proper short or long sleeves, but I think I want more of a three-quarter length sleeve. But I feel like this one is a really nice shape. It looks like it fits just the way that I would like it to. The fabric that I've chosen for this one is a beautiful striped viscose jersey. So there are some little flecks of additional color in there, a slightly textured look to it, I would say. This has a really lovely drape to it, nice body and movement to it. This fabric I actually got from a D stash from Sloths and Orchids. Elisa had a D stash over on Instagram. She might still have some fabric, so I'll put a link to it down below if I can because I got this at a ridiculous bargain. But it's really beautiful soft fabric. I think it's gonna look really great. I love the just width of the stripe. I think that's gonna look good on me. And I think it will definitely suit this particular shirt pattern. The next one I'll tell you about is the Classic Tee by Love Notions. I've never made this pattern for myself, but I have made the child's version. There's a girl's version that I've made for some little girls in my life, and I know that they generally come together well and that they fit well and they're true to size, so I'm hopeful that that will be the case for myself as well. This one just comes in a couple of bust cup sizes, so there's the B cup or a D cup. I'm a D cup sewing size, so it works out well for me, but there's just not quite as many options there depending on your own size. But I will say that this one comes with a decent amount of options. There are different neckline options, different sleeve length options. So I think for this one, I will probably go for the elbow length sleeve and I will go for the scoop neck for this one. I feel like that looks like a good height for where I want my top to sit. Again, it is fitted through the sleeve, semi-fitted down the body, Similar enough in style, quite a different neckline, but I'll be interested to see how the shape and the silhouette of these compare. I have another viscose jersey fabric for this one. This one's a really beautiful bright blue fabric. It's slightly slubby and it has a really nice texture to it as well. So I think this one will be an interesting different look to the shirt. Obviously it's gonna be a similar fabric so it's gonna have a very similar weight and drape. This one is extremely soft, I will say super, super snugly, and I think this one will work out well in this particular top as well. Finally, we've got the Concord Tee by Cashmerette. Now, I have made Cashmerette patterns before as well, and they have fit me well. They have extended their size range for some of their sewing patterns to actually go down to a smaller size, because I was actually slightly smaller than their recommended size, and now I'm in the size range for this t-shirt, so I have been waiting for an opportunity to make this one. It is, again, a basic t-shirt pattern. There are a few different neckline options on this one as well, some different sleeve options. They have a particularly cute sleeve option Option that I like where you can have a little cuff and a little button closure which I think is a cute way to pull up that sleeve and I think it just looks really cute as well so I think that is probably what I'm going to end up doing with this particular one they also have some different neckline options their high neck isn't as high as the love notions one and I think I actually prefer where their high neck sits for me so I think that's what I'm going to go for this one also has quite a lot of length options as well. So there's a super cropped version, there's a medium length, and there's a long version that has a little curve side slit at the side as well. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna go for. I need to just look at the measurements of the different ones before I decide exactly what I wanna do. But I think whatever I do with the different combinations, I think it's gonna be really cute. And I think it is one that I will wanna make again and again if the fit is how I'm hoping that it's gonna be. So for this one, I have a drapey fabric, but this one is not viscose jersey. This is actually a bamboo jersey, and it is black, so it's not that exciting to look at, but it will be such a great basic, and I know it will pair with so many different things. Like I said, it's, it's got this really nice drape to it, bamboo jersey, it's super soft. From what I understand, it's 
extremely breathable, so great to wear if you get a little bit hot and sweaty. It wicks that moisture away, so I know it's going to be really comfortable. And I think it would be a really cool option to be able to try some different sleeve, you know, length options, neckline options. I have a feeling this one is probably going to become a wardrobe staple if the fit is how I'm hoping it will be. Next time I see you for one of these Clash of the Patterns videos, I'm going to be looking at each of these patterns in a bit more detail. So what you get as far as value for money, the size range, what the PDF patterns are like, and I hope to see you there. If you want to see more of these videos, please do make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. If you want to know how these different, different tops turn out, you're going to have to stay tuned, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!